Hi, this is Alan again. I am going to illustrate how to open a bamboo shoot. This was harvested just down the hill, and here's your bamboo shoot. And um, I take a knife and I score it shallow at the bottom and increasingly deep towards the top. And then I bend it so that the uh, hole opens up. So I turn it towards me and I get my thumb in there and I'm able to peel off the layers. As you could see the uh, scar where each layer is attached and I've peeled them off up to here. So I'm going to toss that and um, I didn't quite cut it deep enough because there's more layers towards the top but now I can bend it see and expose all those layers and then I I hold this part because I'd actually want to hang on to whatever's tender and I keep tearing off higher up and it starts to um, since I'm not tearing at those scars anymore you know it tears irregularly but I'm peeling off layers that if you pull on it you'll see are, are way too tough to eat um, and I keep going further up, taking off more layers because there's more towards the top. And again, these won't tear. That's how you know they're too tough to eat. And I just go ahead and rip off the tip. And it breaks where it's soft enough to eat. And this is what's left of a bamboo peeled uh, from, again, the uh, sort of a husk that is too tough to eat. And this you just cut up in order to simmer. You have to do that step. And you can cut it either across, you know, in rings, or you can also slice it in half, and you'll see that that reveals the uh, the chambers that um, bamboo has. So you know, the rest you can do any way you want. This bottom part you can go ahead and cut off. It's a little bit tough. Doesn't matter whether it's green, but you do need to slice it thin enough, and I think that's quite thin enough, maybe quarter inch in order to simmer it, and that's the important part, is that it takes at least 25 minutes in a lot of water, just like you'd add a lot of water for pasta, you're gonna throw that off because you're trying to pull out uh, a toxin. So these are poisonous raw, and you can't just cook them, you have to pull it out in water, and adding salt will help that. So put salt in the water, how much, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you, maybe, um, a teaspoon per gallon or something and have the gallon or I mean, the volume be uh, at least five times the volume of your cut up uh, bamboo and at that point you can preserve them in pickles which just means in vinegar with salt and garlic and any spices that you want to add um, or you can add it to stir fries or you can freeze it at that point but don't freeze it raw because that I believe generates more of the toxin which you can tell by tasting it. If you taste bamboo raw, you'll, it'll feel acrid, which is really unpleasant. And once you've leached out this toxin, it should taste just fine, sort of like corn, which it's related to because it's a grass, a grain like corn. So that's how you can use local bamboo shoots. Um, there are different varieties and some have more of the toxin than others and it's very difficult to identify them and hence to know how long you have to simmer them. So I would say at least 25 minutes if you're concerned more, but you should be able to tell from the taste. All right, enjoy.